there and welcome to Wamanu School. I'm Sam and this is Carter. And today we're here to talk to you about the Omanu Kid. To be a team player in Team Omanu, you have got to help each other when someone else needs help and you've got to play fair and be a good sportsman. To be a contributor, you've got to contribute to questions and you've got to help each other again and you've got to answer when someone asks you a question. To be a good learner, you have to also be a good listener so you can know exactly what to do. And to be a good communicator, you have to ask questions about what you don't know so that you can expand your knowledge more. To be a thinker, sometimes you have to wait and think before you make an action. You should never rush in feet first, you should rush in head first. That's how you describe an Ormanu kid. It represents the legends and the stories of the background of Mount Maunganui and Ormanu. One of the stories is a band of warriors was being pursued by a group of Maori warriors who wanted to kill them. They ran and they ran until eventually they came to Mount Maunganui. There they built kites to scare the Maori away and it worked. The kites were represented in the red on the two sides and the red along there. Just a short while ago, Q came and designed this beautiful work called the Wahado, which means gateway to our school, and that's really important. We are making some Māori masks um, to do with Mia Island. We make the masks out of glue, white paper, newspaper and um, tissues. We're making masks about Mia Island and the people who jumped out of the water was called poor Namu people and then they came onto the island, they were spying on the people who lived there and they were called Te Hua people and then the Te Hua people and the poor Namu people had a battle and then Te Hua people won then poor Namu sailed all the way to Queenstown.
and welcome to Wamanu School. Riley and Gospel and we are having a look at some cool spinifix that they've been growing. Um, so what exactly is spinifix Riley? Um, well spinifix it holds the sand dunes together so it doesn't collapse. That's awesome so why, why are they so important Gospel? So they don't let the sea go right up to the houses. Wow, that's really interesting. So you guys are holding some spinifex in your hands there. How exactly do you find out um, where the seeds are so that you can plant them and stuff? Um, well, if you pull one of the stalk things out, um, you find a seed on the end, and if you squish it and it's hard, it means there's a seed in it. And, and then there's this, and if you break it in half, and in here, you can take it apart. And in there, the brown thing is the seed. Cool, so is that what you guys are doing over here? You're planting the seeds, and what are you gonna do with them once, you, um, once you've pl planted them and they've grown and stuff? I think that we're going to plant them at the beach. And Awesome. <laughs> Sounds good. So you guys are helping out the environment as well and doing a nice little project for school as well. So that's awesome. Good work. Okay, we're in the junior class right now and I have Valeria with me and um, what are you doing today, Valeria? Uh, I'm just doing some monster thing. Oh, cool. So you're colouring in. The, uh, monster looking things, all right. So you've got to count to 20. Can you count to 20 yet? Do you want to show us? Okay, away you go. You go. Can you count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Awesome, that's very good counting. Oh, that's very impressive, I would say. So um, give me a high five there, Valeria. Nice work. And Brittany's going to be talking to someone now who's uh, also colouring in. So over to you, Brittany. Alrighty, well, I'm here with Angus, and he's also in the junior class doing some colouring in. So, what what colours are you um, are you colouring in your little monsters there? Um, I have to copy the same colours on the screen. Cool. So, what what colours have you like? What's this colour here? What have Blue. you coloured in? And that one? Red. And that one? Green. Awesome. What, what's your favourite colour? 
I can see that with your green t-shirt. <laughs> Did you choose that this morning? Very cool. We have Emma and Melissa here now to tell us a little bit about Feet First. So uh, what is Feet First, Melissa? Um, we encourage kids to walk, bike and scooter to school and not um, get in the car with their parents. Oh yeah, so it's kind of like exercise and yeah. um, you know, it's like also protecting the environment. Not facing, not infecting the environment. Yeah, yeah, that's on to it. So what, how do you guys come to school? Like what's your preferred mode of transport? Um, personally, I like walking to school. Mm -hmm. Walking or scootering? Oh, scootering so much fun, eh? I had to go on um, uh, my daughter's bike, uh, my daughter's scooters, and uh, I look ridiculous, and I'm probably not supposed to be on them. They probably break, but they were so much fun. And um, what's the most popular? Do most people walk or bike or scooter? Um, scooter probably. Yeah. Because like, there's these new scooters called MGPs. MGPs, I'm going to have to make a mental note about that one. So are they pretty cool? Better than the Razors, you reckon? Yeah. Okay, there you go.